What's up everybody? It's Mike with Six Pack Shortcuts. I got an awesome topic to talk about with you today. We're gonna be going over the topic, does muscle turn into fat when you stop working out? Seems like it's to be true, right? And honestly, I used to believe the exact same thing. Muscle looks like it turns into fat. Why? You see those big guys and you know, you see them and it looks like gravity is seem to be hanging everything down. Like their chest now looks like titties. They're arms, your biceps used to be big and now it's like one of those wavy big fat women, you know, wavy arms. You know, so it seems like everything's turning into fat, right? And then that's why people always tell me, well, you don't want to get too big because, you know, you don't want to turn to fat when you're old and stuff, look like one of those guys. But number one, <laughs> you don't have to worry about getting too big. Yeah, that's like, whoo, pie in the sky thing, okay? And number two, it doesn't turn into fat. But here's the thing, if, if I tell you it doesn't turn into fat, you're like, okay, well, it looks like it turns into fat. What's going on? Well, I'm here to actually explain how that works. And it took me a little while to understand it, but it's actually pretty simple once you, once you get it. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go over one easy fact first. So the way muscle works, how do you build muscle? Well, you have to go ahead and do the work, right? But here's the thing. If you don't do the work, if you don't do anything, your muscle disappears. Have you ever heard the term, whatever you don't, well, how does that go? So use it or lose it. There you go, that's it. Goes for all kinds of muscle. You know what I mean? Use it, all right? So, remember that. Use it or lose it, okay? All right, so now let's get to it. So, we got, if you're working out, you're on this side. If you uh, cross over there, you're a lazy bum. That's how I see it. So let's say you're working out, right? All of you guys are working out, you're on this side, right? So, let's talk about your eating. So let's just say, the average person, let's say they eat 2,500 calories. So we're gonna use these numbers as examples, okay? So let's say you eat 2,500 calories, okay, per day. So when you're working out, you have your metabolism, right? Okay, and your metabolism increases when you work out. All right, so put a little increase sign there. So let's just say, for example, your metabolism, you burn about 2,000 calories just off of metabolism alone. Why? Because they have to burn effect. You work out, your muscles need more calories to recover, so your metabolism increases, okay? So let's say 2,000 calories. Well, and also, when you're actually working out, you're actually also burning calories directly. So let's just say you burn about 500 calories, okay? So in this case, how much you're eating, you eat about 2,500 calories, for example, and how much are you burning? If you add up 2,000 plus 500, it equals 2,500, okay? At the end of the day, it is called zero. So, no weight gain, okay? Your weight stays exactly the same, all right? So, this happens pretty normally for people once they start working out for a little while to see their weight sustained about the same. Today's video, we're not talking about gaining weight or losing weight, okay? We're talking about how muscle not turn into fat. Now, let's just say something happens, you know, I don't wanna hear the excuse, but shit happens. Now you become this lazy bum. All right, so this is what happens. You're eating. Most people think muscle turns into fat because they seem to see that muscle just seems to just droop down. But here's what's actually going on now. And then pay attention to this, this becomes really important. Let's just say you eat 2,500 calories a day. You and I both can look at an amount of food and you're gonna know right off the back how much food you can finish, okay? You know that this much food is gonna be, is you're still gonna be hungry if you eat it, and you know that this much food is just, you just no way you can finish it. Everybody can eye, look at a food, and they can be able to tell the amount of food that they need in order to be full. Just like they can tell, this, this like if you look at the amount of food you eat per day, most people don't calculate their food, and they just go off of whenever they're hungry, and just basically going off of the size of the meals, and what they eat normally eat. So here, because this is, becomes a problem right here. Most people that don't work out and become a lazy bum, they eat exactly the same amount of calories, okay? That's the key point right here. They eat the exact amount of the same amount of calories because they don't really think that eating and working out has to do with each other. They think both of them are independently, but that's not true. This is what happens. So when you don't work out, your metabolism goes down. Okay, so instead of burning 2,000 calories, let's just say you only burn 1,500 calories, okay? Now, the working out part is zero. Why? Because you're not working out anymore. So, if you look at the same math now, your eating part is 2,500 calories, right? The same, but 
your burning part is what? 1500 calories now. Okay. So now you eat more than what you burn. So now you gain fat. Okay. So now because you got an extra thousand calories left over. Where's that calories going, right? Well, it's gonna turn into ba -ba -ba, fat. That's what I write. Uh, big old F. Fat, okay? Here's a second part of the story. Now that you are gaining fat because you're eating the same and you're not working out, okay? That was the only thing happening. You would be gaining weight when you're not when you're not working out. But here's the thing, you're not gaining weight. Right? That's kind of weird. So I'm not working out, but I'm not gaining weight. So the muscle must be turning into fat, right? So remember what we talked about when we first started this video. If you don't use it, you lose it. So this working out part is gaining you muscle in the beginning. So the muscle that you have are actually losing. You're actually losing the muscle while at the same time gaining the fat. So check this out. So here's the fat. Fat goes up, right? Because you have all these calories left over every single day because you're not burning as much as what you're eating, okay? But your muscle, we'll write it down here, you're losing muscle on a daily basis. Why? Because whatever you don't use, you lose. So check this out. Your fat goes up, your muscle goes down. So they are independent with each other but they're happening simultaneously. They're happening all at the same time, which is why it seems like your muscle is turning into fat, but that never happens. They're not turning into anything. This is what you need to do if you ever cross over from working out to becoming a lazy bum. I know you're not gonna become a lazy bum, but you know, things happen and there might be a case where let's say you get injured, right? You get injured, you can't work out. You get in a car accident, you know, God forsake, but you know, things happen. This is what you need to do. Don't forget, when you are not working out, you're eating, very simple. It needs to change, okay? You just have to remember that your eating is directly influenced by the amount of calories you burn, okay? These two things are directly influenced with each other. So the moment that your metabolism lowers and the moment that you're not working out, like right here, it's pretty simple math now, right? Let's say your metabolism, you're only burning 1,500 calories and you're not working out, so it's zero. How much do you eat? 1,500 calories. Now, you're still gonna go ahead and lose the muscle. Why? Because there's nothing to do about that. If you don't use it, it's gone. But your fat will not increase, okay? So, now, at the end of the day, everything becomes zero. Right? So, if we look at the eating, 1,500, the burning, 1,500, at the end of the day, is zero. So, you're not gaining any fat, but at the same time, you're losing muscle. So, what's gonna happen, and the correct way to happen when you aren't working out is you're supposed to lose weight because you're losing muscle weight, okay? It's okay, it's gonna happen once in a while when you can't work out or you know whatever happens, but you should not be gaining fat, okay? So that's the right way to go ahead and do it if you don't work out, okay? And you have muscle, but you don't work out, expect to lose a muscle, okay? There's nothing to do about that, but at least don't gain fat. So there you go, you have it there. That's how muscle does not turn into fat. Next time somebody goes ahead and tell you, oh yeah, you don't wanna to get too big because you don't want it all turn to fat, bust out with a white race board and show them all this. That or just direct them to this video, maybe a little simpler. So if you want more nutrition tips, want more muscle building tips, you wanna learn how to go ahead and not lose any muscle and not get injured, <laughs> you know where to go. Sixpackshortcuts.com. See y'all guys next time. Later.